been at some time, hasn't it? I think I said that in my last video as well, didn't I? I think it's about every two, three months now I do one of these videos. Um, how is everyone? Um, to, to, I'm not going to, this isn't going to be a roundup of everything that's been going on. <clears throat> There's too much. Um, I want to, the next couple, of, I want to do some more videos. I've made that a priority because quite a few of you are still getting in touch and I've got no content out there and I've, I've put nothing out and mentioned how I am and it's purely because I've been too ill, too ill and and also sometimes I feel like talking about sickness keeps me sick. Um, so I, I, I've I found it detrimental to keep talking about this shit but um so many people get in touch with me still and you know it's uh i know these videos help people because i know when i look at videos it helps as well so i want to start doing a few more videos again and it keeps keeps me busy but i've just not i've not been right to do them like i said in the last video that's why i'm not doing them much anymore i think they keep me sick honestly but we'll see we'll see um so I'm just going to keep this specified to, if you've seen the title, obviously, H. Pylori. It's also called, the long-winded name is Hello, Hello, Back, Back, oh, fuck, I can never pronounce it. Look it up, H. Pylori. Okay, so, if you know about it, you might have had it already, fine. That's great. It's not great, but, you know, you've had it, you understand it. If you haven't had it, uh, this video might help you or just give you some comfort, I guess. I guess th this is what these videos are, really. I'm not a doctor, am I? I've said it a million times. I'm just reporting what has been going on. H. pylori is basically an infection or a bacteria in your stomach. Now, from what I can gather, and please research all this. I'm just, you know, please research it um, and go to your doctor. Um, why, why am I talking about this today? So I, I weren't feeling good. Like I was having some symptoms that I don't normally get, like, um, just really nause nauseous, like constantly, like really to the stomach, like just feeling so sick. I was, that didn't really happen to me before. I'm just feeling so just, just worse than i than i had been knew something was up something is going on or, you know something is not right um and i had a few blood tests with the doctor and i might go into some of those blood tests at a later stage but a few things and um you know i, I wasn't really happy with what my doctor was coming back to me with and it, it, I could see he wasn't, I didn't have any confidence in him and I could see he didn't have a plan or where to go next. And because I'm so on reading the, the clinical literature in regards to this, um, I had to start suggesting stuff. Like I've done that in the past anyway, but I basically said, I said, um, I said, what about if we did um, a breath test or a pH monitoring test or uh, a stool sample? He went, oh, well, we'll do a stool sample. Have you not had one yet? I was like, no. No, I haven't had one. Like, they should know that. Like, I have seen a couple of different doctors, but they should have all this on record. So I had to coax him into get, giving me a, a stool sample. You know, this is worrying me. It worries me about doctors, you know. Like, they, 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 they're they not doing anything for any of us. You literally have to suggest it, and then you have to convince them. Anyway, they've done the stool sample. I don't want to make this video too long today, to be honest. But they did this stool sample, and um, for because uh, I said, can we test for SIBO? Uh, Google that, S-I-B-O. It stands for something. Uh, my brain is all over the place these days. I can't remember anymore. Um, so they were testing for that, or H. pylori. And it came back after a few days, I tested positive for H. pylori. I knew I would test for something, I had to. And I was almost glad. You know, it's come to that stage now where you're like, just like, 
because you don't know what's wrong with you. You ha I have all these symptoms, but no one can say what's wrong with me. Yeah, I've got reflux. Yeah, I've got clearing my throat. Yeah, I'm finding it hard to swallow. Yeah, I've got dry eyes. Yeah, I've got costochondritis. But why have I got them? No one can tell me that. No one can tell me that. So I have H. pylori. Anyway, I was like, yeah, all right. Maybe. See, this is what I want to say. If you haven't been tested for H. pylori, do that, right? So go to your doctor. Doctor, test me for H. pylori, please. You know, it, it's all these symptoms could be related to it. And, you know, the chances are, if you're having reflux issues and gastric problems, at some stage you're going to test for H. pylori or they're going to test you for it at the start and you're going to have it. So get it checked because it might clear up all your problems. I was hoping it was going to clear up all my issues. I thought, oh, maybe I've just had this from the start. Maybe if um, we get this sorted, I'm going to be okay. Didn't work out like that. Didn't work out like that. So what did they do? They said, right here, this is the options. We're going to put you on antibiotics. They gave me two antibiotics. Clifromycin. That's the other way around, isn't it? Clifromycin, I think it's pronounced. 250 milligrams. Take two twice a day, right? That's one antibiotic. Then they gave me this antibiotic. Met... Metro, metro, I can't bloody pronounce it. I didn't really care when they gave it to me. I was like, just give me the drugs, just make me better. I can't pronounce it. 400 milligram tablets, take one twice a day. And then the dreaded PPI. You know, if you've watched my videos, PPIs don't work for me, they do, they completely disagree with me. They make me worse, they give me symptoms. But I was willing to take it because I knew all of these drugs were just a seven day course. I would suck it up for seven days, it might make me better. Imeprazole. 20, 20 milligram tablets, take one twice a day for seven days. Anyway, I took them, fucking hell, it was hard work on these tablets. They just, they, they all of this stuff, just my body doesn't take to it. But you've got to take the PPI because you're taking antibiotics that to deal with the stomach, blah, blah, blah. It was hard work on them. They just make, they don't make me feel good. It messes with my mental health a little bit. Gives me symptoms. Anyway, I took them. Fine. From all accounts, it seems to have taken away the H. pylori because my nausea isn't like it was. But uh, I'm not better. I've still got so many problems. Uh, still got clearing of the throat, still having random abdominal pain, still having reflux issues. And then my other symptoms that just always seem to be there, my dry eyes, my costochondritis, fatigue, so fatigued. So people don't understand fatigue. I think people think when they hear fatigue, they think, you're just at home, like pottering around the house, doing odd jobs, and you're not. You're in bed. You can't. You 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 you're you're shut down. It's so debilitating. Anyway, H. pylori. Please go go ask to be tested for it. Um, if you haven't, it's just another thing that you can get sorted out. If you had it already, then you understand, don't you? You know. You know. Um, you know what it's like to go through it, through it. There's some other things I've found in some blood tests and some other routes I've been going down um, and hitting some dead ends, but some interesting things and some liver, some 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 things to do with my liver, trying a few other things. But I'm going to keep these videos specific and not ramble because some of these videos are just bloody rambles. So, yeah. I had H. pylori, it, I, I took medication for it. Whether it's cleared it or not, they don't test you for it again. But um, I believe it. it's probably cleared it, but I've, I've still got problems. This just keeps going on and on. So yeah, um, that's that's enough for this video. That's, that's all I wanted to say. I'm gonna do a couple more. Uh, I'm gonna try and put out a, quite a few in the next two weeks. I'm going to do something interesting on Friday. I won't mention it now. 
I might make that my next video, but it's something to maybe help me. Anyway, guys, um, thanks for all the messages as always. Um, keep keep pushing forward. Keep trying to stay positive and keep pushing your doctors to to help to look into it because they they don't want to. They'll make you feel like you're pestering them, and they will make you feel like you're hypochondriac. But uh, keep fighting, keep fighting, keep watching, and uh, we'll get there, we'll get there one day, we'll get there, I'm not giving up. Um, thanks for watching, see you soon.